Okay, let's go, uh, go back to our condense. Okay. So we finished the introduction, which is about the learning attitude. And the benefit of meditation, we have gone through a video clip. The third one is about the condition. I think condition, it might be our next lesson, sir. Uh, after condition, we have to know about the condemns, desire, and abandon the hindrances. Okay, condition is the factors, uh, external cause and external factor, which is relates to uh, for your concentration, for your concentration, and a uh, condemn desire and abandon hindrances are all, uh, uh, I mean, are all internal factor, huh, which will influence the performance. Then number five is. Uh, yes, uh, now we are doing the practice now, and today we will go back again uh, what we learned in the previous lesson. And then after this, we'll go to the meditating, uh, meditate in the daily life. Huh? See how should we, uh, how, how, sh how, should, how shall we uh, mindful in our daily life? Then uh, number six, we go to the development of favorable consciousness, cure the sickness, and fruit the payment. Huh? Then we will finish everything. Huh? Uh, I mean, uh, in, in, in my session. Okay, now let's take a look. Uh, to the guide to the meditation, and you please uh, take out this set of notes, uh, guide for meditation. Okay. Now, uh, immediately we'll go to the body adjustment. Uh, body adjustment, uh, hit exercise. Uh, well, uh, hit exercise. Uh, um, uh, if you, uh, maybe I have tried, I have to try to recall you all. Huh? Uh, for hit exercise, uh, we will do a few. Uh, I mean, uh, a few exercise which involve our neck. The purpose is to reduce the blood circulation uh, to the brain and to open the throat chakra. Huh? So we can try it now. Okay. So both for your palm, you can put on your knee. All right. So then uh, the first neck exercise is we tilt our head. Okay, to the left side. Uh, to the left side, we will feel there's some stretch, stretching uh, uh, in the in the neck, in the right side, and the uh, and the shoulder. That will be correct. One, two, three, four, five. Then we change, uh, 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 we change the direction. One, two, three, four, five. Secondly. One, two, three, four, five. We change the directions. One, two, three, four, five. Thirdly, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So three times is now. Okay. So a uh, second, uh, we will we will try to how to say how, uh, uh, okay. Uh, 医生讲讲啊, uh, 我们的头啊就往下, Chinese, ah, uh, put this put down put down okay. Yeah. So we put yeah. down our head, and we will feel the stretches is our in our neck, the part of our neck. Just put down one, two, three, four, five, and then put up our head. We will try to put. I mean, uh, uh, just then you will feel the, uh, the stretches is between the neck and also at the, at the, at the, at the shoulder. Huh? One, two, three, four, five. Second. One, two, three, four, five. Then up again. One, two, three, four, five. Third time. One, two, three, four, five. Up. Last, lastly, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, mm. so that is the finish. We finish the second. Then uh, the third one, we'll try to twist our head to the right back and the left back. Okay, so without movement of the body. So now we twist our head to the back of the back one two three four five change other position or other direction one two three four five secondly one two three four five one two three four five thirdly one 
two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we finish. So the last one, we're going to try to rotate our head 360 degree. All right. So, uh, so we try to, to rotate clockwise in the first place. So we just put down our head and start rotating 360 degree. Okay. So once we finish, we change other directions also for 360 degree. We go to second time clockwise and clockwise until third time. Huh? Okay, so uh, that is we call it uh, the, the neck exercise. Okay, uh, uh, well, uh, you will feel relaxed if let's say maybe, I mean, uh, you are tension most of the time, uh, uh, especially during the working time, you always stretch it, then you feel comfortable in your shoulder and in your neck. Should I know who is feeling comfortable in your shoulder and the neck? Using, uh, uh, okay, so uh, four of you, five of you, okay. Uh, uh, well, uh, is there anybody injured your head or shoulder before? Is there anyone? No, right, or maybe everybody more on office work, or you would, you would, you would, you would hurry, lah, but just maybe over, over, over stress only. Huh? So after the hit exercise, we go to the second part. We call it as uh, massage the entire body. Huh? Okay, huh? okay, it is not available in English, uh, but it's, it's available in the Chinese version. Huh? Uh, a massage, uh, the, purpose, the purpose of the massage is once we do the meditation, for particular people here, who, for those who are very sensitive to energy, they will found that the energy flow through the whole body. The source of the energy basically is from our navy part. We call it Tan Tian in Mandarin. Okay, and once the Tan Tian, this we call it the navy chakra ignited, or in Taoism, they call it lower Tan Tian ignited. The energy will flow throughout the whole body. The purpose of flowing of energy could be for healing or to develop our meridian system. But not everybody feel it. But in case you feel it, you have to do the massage, especially massage your Tan Tian, so that you put back the energy. If you don't put the energy back properly, maybe uh, later on, once the energy uh, restored in your head, you will feel heat it. Or all the energy, uh, I mean, uh, just accumulate in somewhere, uh, the swollen, you will feel somewhere there. So that's the purpose. You have to do the ending skill properly, especially in the Qigong. Uh, okay, uh, shall I know, is there anybody sensitive to energy? Anyone? Uh, what does it mean sensitive to energy? Uh? Some people can feel that maybe in the childhood, they feel the energy. Maybe uh, sometimes they can feel the beings, the ghosts, or maybe the, the deva. Or some they will feel the energy in the sense that maybe from the handphone they, they will feel uncomfortable or once uh, too many handphone and radioactive close to them and some that it may even feel comfortable when, once they drive through uh, the how to say how the pagoda uh, which produce uh, the electromagnetic uh, uh, that, i mean that's <laughs> how should I, I, I call it uh, the pagoda uh, they will feel very uncomfortable is there anyone who experienced this no people insensitive. I know why, because everybody is too busy and you make, I mean, uh, you already make your sensitive, uh, I mean, uh, your sensitivity turn to become insensitive already. Uh, basically, in ancient time, especially those, uh, the lack of exposures to the electronic device and item, uh, they, are, they are more sensitive. Uh, nowadays, everybody is not that sensitive. Basically, through the meditation and the Qigong, uh, we will bring you, we will restore your sensitivity back. 
this is a good symptom of but you have to properly manipulate it or you will be too troublesome because uh, oversensitive if you're oversensitive and you can't control your sensitivity meaning to say that you will be victimized uh, by uh, electric uh, the electronic products and radioactive uh, surrounding you okay now we do some uh, massage exercise uh, so we rub our head our hand and then we shake so in the, okay okay so in the beginning we are using our thumb to massage the eyelid first okay eyelid then we wash our face our head our ear then we go to our neck our shed our shoulder shoulder hand and thumbs then we massage at the same. Uh, uh, then we massage at the same time, and shake again. Then we put both our hand in the abdomen, so you can clockwise. Uh, make sure you press the abdomen firmly and do the massage five times clockwise and the clockwise. It could be seven, it could be eleven, it could be twelve. It's necessary. Huh? So we just do the massage. From the massage, we go to our back, our vertebra, then our thigh, our calf, then our leg. If during the meditation you feel the energy circulating in your in your hand, meaning to say that. Um, you are gifted and your hand you possess the ability to for healing so you can put your hand in the eye if, if the eye feel uncomfortable and you can put your hand uh, on the uh, on the kidney parts uh, so that is how we make full use that uh, but of course uh, uh, i mean you uh, in order to uh, i mean it's, it depends on individual uh, whether you have the ability to heal is very depend on individual uh, sometimes it is Gifted. Sometimes it could be it is trained. It depends. It really depends. Huh? So it, it take time. Uh, I hope I hope that uh, within this nine hour, uh, you be able to discover uh, how far you can go and how many talented uh, uh, you are gifted. Okay. So now next we'll go to the sitting posture. The seven point of a meditation posture are okay. Uh, Eugene, can you please uh, read out to me? Huh? position either lotus half lotus position and etc the position of your back should be straight but not tense or tight the position of your shoulders should be back a little raise your shoulders up to your ears and then roll back roll them back so that your shoulder blades move downward this motion helps to guide the upper body in position. The position of our hands there are three methods. For general relaxation, your hands are in your lap, not too low, with the right hand in the left hand, thumbs up and thumbs touching. For dissemination, your hands are flat, palms down, resting one hand on each knee. For stimulation, which activates and frees the energy systems of the body, Especially the body, speech, and mind. Each hand has the thumb touching the base of the ring finger and the fingers close firmly, not too tight. Run the thumb and the hand resting palm down on each knee. The position of your neck is held tall while lightly tilting the skull down a few millimeters by gently bringing in your chin. Sure the balance of the skull is maintained over the neck. Position of your eyes, there are three methods. The eyes look down following the tip of your nose. The eyes are gently closed. The eyes look straight ahead but very slightly lower than level or lower than the horizon. The position of your mouth and tongue. Your mouth can either be closed or just slightly open so air can escape as if you were saying softly the letter R. 
the tongue is relaxed in a natural position, or the tip of the tongue can lightly touch off the roof of the mouth, just behind the area where the gums meet the upper front teeth, called Jeva Bada. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, please uh, highlight the point. Okay. Please highlight the point. Sitting position. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, okay. Should I know that uh, SJ, the note I sent to you is already highlight. Am I right? No, heaven. Heaven. Okay. So if it is has, uh, please highlight the point, okay? Uh, because if it helps you uh, for recapitulation after the lesson, uh, you should highlight the point. Uh. But Eugene, just now you say yes, sir. Uh, the notes you got uh, all the I think the, the slide has already yellow color highlighted one. Is that the one? The yeah, it, is it? Is it? It, it happens to yeah, the, in your slide. In your slide, it is already highlighted. Oh, okay, I see this. SJ, please thumb up if you finish highlighting. Huh? Uh, we'll move up. Huh? Okay. Today, your sound system is not as good as previously. Huh? Uh, Sorry. Uh, okay. We can hear the sound, but it's a little bit blur. I huh? don't know why. Huh? Okay. okay, maybe I'll take off my earphone. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. It sounds okay. like uh, it seems right. a little sharp. Huh? Uh, it seems yeah, like okay. Okay. Uh, I think it's the earphone. Oh, the earphone. Mm. Okay. So SJ, okay, huh? Okay. So uh, let's take a look. Huh? Now we go back to the seven point of meditation post. Huh? Okay. I've got, I've got a question. Huh? Yeah, any question? Yes, Su Kyung, yeah, please. Mm, for this one, position of our hand, huh? for general relaxation, okay. So which is, uh, which hand is on top and which hand is at the bottom? Okay, uh, I'm explaining now. Okay, huh? uh, please okay, okay. explain. Okay. 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 So okay, the thanks. first one is regards the sitting position, either lotus or half lotus position. Huh? So uh, I remember in our previous lesson, okay, I remember in our previous lessons, you have chosen your method already. Huh? Uh, whether it's the auspicious pose, half lotus, uh, or the double lotus, or just with the relaxation, huh? you have already chosen your pose already. Huh? Okay. So second is the position of your back. It should be straight, but not tense and tight. Okay. Huh? Uh, well, in previous lesson, okay, once you sit straight, you can touch your back. It should be a little bit curved. Okay. It should be a little, a little bit curved. You can feel it. And remember in previous lesson, with the support of the cushion, you can sit properly. Okay. I remember not all of you have a professional cushion sitting, right? So I will send you the address. Okay. Uh, in Petaling Street, you can try to purchase a professional set, okay, huh, to help you to support your your back. Huh? I remember uh, in previous lesson, who have the professional cushion using, uh, uh, okay, uh, using demonstrate it and notice that the, the support of the cushion is very essential. But anyway, basically, if let's say after you meditate for a certain period, once your energy has been activated, your back will be straight and support by the energy, but not, but not by your own, I mean, uh, but, uh, but not by your own view. Uh. The reason is the spot of energy is so crucial that uh, it can make you last longer. Plus, can you imagine uh, once you become, a, a, how to say, uh, once, you, once you meditate for a long time, uh, maybe you will, you will request, uh, I mean, uh, you prefer to meditate. I mean, uh, you have a tendency to meditate one hour, two hours, even longer. <laughs> If without the support of the energy, 
how can you be last longer by just using your own view or muscle to support? Is this right? Mm. So, uh, any anyway, class, uh, you will experience it. Okay, uh, one day you meditate, suddenly you will notice that an, an energy push you up. Uh, that meaning to say that your energy had been triggered. Uh, well, the energy could be triggered by just solely, either by solely uh, meditating or the qigong. But basically, the later we are more effective. Uh, I mean, uh, and, and we come in a very soon period. That's the reason why after the meditation session, you are encouraged to join the qigong class in order to get the effect. Uh, so that, I mean, uh, before you, you really graduate, you've got something uh, to help you, uh, the tools to help you. Basically, if let's say uh, if your back uh, uh, becomes strengthened uh, and support by the energy, meaning to say that you are getting more healthier. Uh, a lot of sickness is due to the uh, 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 the blockage of uh, of energy, uh, especially flow, flow flowing through our vertebra. If a person they used to be hunched back, or and they used to have a wrong position, especially hunched back, if the energy cannot smoothly flow through your vertebra, basically you you are you are more susceptible to a lot of disease. Okay, so that is the point. Uh, why you should uh, sit? Uh, you should sit, uh, sit straight. Okay, third is about the shoulder, all right? So the shoulder, uh, we just make it relax. Here, according here, you just reach your shoulder up to the ear, then roll back. Oh. So meaning to say that uh, this is the other part of the exercise and it, it will make your upper part body uh, in the proper way. Oh. Well, I, I missed the point uh, how in our previous lesson. Okay. So now uh, here we can just uh, do, okay, please try. We just roll up and put it the back. And roll up again from the back and put back okay so maybe twice second time and third time again okay you feel even more comfortable oh, uh, I mean uh, uh, by adding it uh, uh, with our neck exercise okay the shoulder and the neck will be thoroughly relaxed Okay, now we go to the hand motion, uh, the, uh, we call it mudra or hand posture. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, we have a, a few of the hand gesture for general re relaxation. Uh, your hand are in the lap, not too low. And uh, I mean, uh, just put a palm okay, on, the, on the knee, huh? palms up and the thumb touching. Huh? Well, just now uh, our, uh, our I mean, uh, uh, Siu Kiong asks uh, uh, whether the left at the upper or the right at the upper, actually, it doesn't matter. In Buddhism meditation, they don't bother about the, the mudra. This we call it mudra. But once you really go deep to the qigong and the yogaism, they will, they will really take consideration into it. The reason is, in our hand, uh, there's a significance uh, for each of the hand. It could be represented earth elements, water elements, air elements, and etc. Uh, uh, once you, put, you do some mudra, uh, basically you can reshuffle and you can try, uh, yeah, you can try to reshuffle and to, uh, I mean, uh, the combination of the, the five elements to get healthier. Uh, in ancient times, uh, basically, uh, I mean, uh, the, the yogi, they meditate in the Himalaya mountain, but uh, without supply. The, they, they can only rely on the natural healing, especially like the hand mudra. Uh, once they know this, uh, they get some disease, they will just put some special hand sites just to balance the five elements and then they can heal themselves. So that is the purpose of, and this is in yogaism and the qigong, uh, they, they quite emphasize on it. And once you join the qigong class, uh, we will have a special sessions to mention about the mudra. Uh, so, uh, so for now, Siu Kiong, no matter how you put, it doesn't matter. Buddhism, they don't really uh, serious about this. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, then second mudra, let's take a look. Uh, we call it for determination. Your hand are flat, palms down, resting on hand each on each knee. Uh. So this is the most simple way. Remember, you just put on the knee. Uh, that's all. Okay, uh, so just put at the top of it. Okay. Uh. And then the third one, okay, okay, okay. 
but this is to free the energy system of the body. So our thumb will touch each other, okay? With our thumb will touch with our ring, uh, ring finger and close it firmly and put on the knee. Okay, so class, uh, you can try it now. So this is called uh, the ring finger, okay? Please try and put on the knee, okay? Okay, and then we, we go to change with this. This uh, in Chinese, uh, we call it fa jie ding ying. Uh, we, maybe we can call it in English, uh, Dhamma Ram Mudra. This is Dhamma Ram Mudra. Okay, please try it. So, uh, uh, well, uh, can you... Uh, Please tell me which one mudra is your preference. You prefer Dharma mudra? Please put up your hand after trying. Okay, four people. Okay, thank you. How about the how about the ring finger, of ring mudra? Ah, Tiong how prefer? Lighting? You just put two hand on the on the knee. That's all. Ah, okay, so uh, you we got three method to let you to choose. Okay. Okay. Okay, next we go to the position of your neck. Uh, okay, your neck is held tall while lightly tilting the skull down a few millimeter. Well, okay, uh, well, it's not necessary for you to go to use a ruler to measure how millimeter is it. It doesn't. You, you, uh, um, it is not necessary to do so. Okay, basically you just uh, sit straight. Okay, and you chin to go back a little bit. Why we have to mention this? Sometimes when people meditate, they will over, uh, I mean, uh, they will over put, I mean, uh, uh, the, ta, 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 position, maybe low a little bit, the chin close down, uh, uh, close in a little bit, uh, the chin close to our body a little bit, that will be enough. Okay, huh? if let's say you are over, uh, you are quite particular with the sitting position, you can try to sit in front of piece of the mirror. Huh? Uh, so you sit in front of the mirror. Huh? But once you open your eye, please don't scare yourself. <laughs> because the mirror, because somebody in the mirror, you thought, ah, the ghost. No, actually, it is yourself. Huh? Mm. So be careful. But I think this is quite discouraged to sit in front of the mirror. Huh? We worry you will scared away yourself. Huh? Okay, so that is about the, okay, the, uh, the, uh, the neck. Okay. Uh, uh, next is uh, it's about the position of the eye. We got three way. Uh, number first one is the eye look down following the tip of your nose. So meaning to say that you're going to stay, the tip of your nose is this part, and you just see it. Why? Uh, uh, there is a multiple of the, uh, there's a variety of the meditation skills in the market. Now, this is, this is, I mean, this is one of the method which is more popular in China. Now, they will just stay at the tip of the nose uh, to make sure they are alert. Okay. Uh, second way, just to close down the eye, uh, this is the method which is encouraged here. The third one, you just open your eye, okay, uh, as stated here. Let's take a look. Okay, the eye looks straight ahead, but very slightly lower than lower, uh, lower than, le than level or lower than the horizon. Huh? Meaning to say you open your eye, okay, but just maybe just uh, uh, see below the horizon. Huh? Okay, we will open our eye using the third method if you feel you fall asleep. Okay, if let's say you, you, you seems that, uh, I mean, uh, you have a, uh, you, you don't sleep well and you need a rest, okay, and, and yet you still have to meditate, you can just open your eye so that, uh, I mean, uh, you don't have, uh, how to say, uh, uh, this is more refreshing, uh, more refreshing for you. Huh? Okay, if let's say you feel so tired, huh, okay, during the meditation, can you do huh? huh? What will you do if let's say you feel so tired during the meditation? Huh? What will you do? Huh? Sleep. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Just go to sleep. Okay, huh? So you just sleep, maybe just uh, five to ten minutes, okay. Uh, with uh, uh, when you feel refreshed enough, then you meditate. Okay, uh, don't uh, meditate in a very bad uh, 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 
mentality. Huh? The reason is uh, uh, once you meditate in a very bad mentality, you, you, don't, you can't rest better and yet you can't meditate in a good quality. Huh? Basically, if in your house, I don't think you will sleep five to ten minutes. Maybe you will sleep one to two hours, <laughs> then you wake up, oh, uh, no more time for meditate, I do other things already. It used to happen like that. Huh? Uh, so uh, disciplinary uh, discipline is quite important once you i mean practice alone okay once you practice practice alone this is reason why in friday and saturday and, and sunday group sitting even though it is online but pre people prefer to join because they notice that uh, uh, self-discipline is not easy huh? uh, by just solely dependent on yourself it's not that easy to achieve okay uh, uh we talk about the eye then next we will go to the position of the mouth and tongue okay uh, so remember you can just uh, tongue you can put it naturally or you can just okay uh, push the tongue uh, to the upper uh, roof the roof of the mouth okay well the purpose according to the previous lesson in order to make the circulation uh, of the energy in the complete we call it xiao zhou tian ah, xiao zhou tian uh, to make the circulation as a complete well, um, well, this is uh, some basic about this. Please, now you can try uh, the seven point of meditation. Okay, please, you can do it now. Choose a sitting posture, firstly. So second, make sure your, your back is straight. Okay, huh? You can change the location because we're going, the, I mean, we'll go through some meditation. Huh? Uh, preferably, you can choose uh, the chair which is more hard a little bit or, or whatever huh? okay okay the third okay it's about uh, your mudra okay so set your hand mudra next it's about your shoulder relax your shoulder and your chin please move close your body a little bit and close your eye please follow the instructions to relax relax your head Relax your forehead, relax your cheek, relax your shoulder, uh, relax your chest, relax your abdomen, relax your back. Eugene, uh, your head is moved up a little bit. Please make it down a little bit. Ah, okay, thank you. Uh. Relax your thigh your calf and relax your foot okay so please open your eye so basically everybody okay look nicer huh? <laughs> I mean look, look nicer now uh, we'll go through second is about grabs your meditation object okay so Sukel, can you please spread it up you can begin you can read ah uh, yes you can begin please read it out you can begin to practice anapanasati by concentrating on the in breath and out breath which is touching the nostril or upper lip one may ask should one concentrate on the breath or the touch? One should concentrate on the breath, the breath which is touching at the clearest place at the nose, heel or upper lip. Touching is concerned with another meditation which is Nama Kamanhana. It is the discerning of Nama Dhamma. Mental factors based on Konhaba Datu element of touch that is the mental factor that take tangible objects as object therefore one should meditate only on the breath which is touching and not on the touching the meaning is different meditating only on touching is another kamanhana meditation meditating on the breath which is touching is anapanasati Therefore, it needs strong sati, mindfulness, and practice. Please. 
<laughs> Ignore it, please. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, one should try to concentrate on the in-breath and out-breath in this manner. If the meditators find that he cannot concentrate well even after one or two sitting, then he should use the counting method. This will help him to develop concentration. Okay, thank you so much. Please highlight the point. Okay, huh? Yeah, already highlighted. Already highlighted. Okay, huh? Hmm. Yeah, don't help. Already highlight also. Okay. So now we start to explain this. Huh? Okay, first of all, there's a few Pali terms here. Uh, please ignore the Pali terms. Huh? The reason is the Pali term is not properly shown huh? because they need a special font to make it shown properly. Huh? So please ignore it. The Pali term is not correct already. Huh? Um, you can begin to practice Anapanasati. Okay, why we call it Anapanasati? Okay, Anapanasati means Anapana mean in breath. Uh, uh, anap, uh, anap, Anna means in breath, uh, apana out breath, sati is mindfulness. So basically, the meditation method you are practicing now, we call it in breath or out breath. But of course, you are observing your in breath and out breath uh, in, in, a, in mindfulness, in a mindful way. Uh. So uh, basically, we tell people that I'm practicing anapanasati, people will understand that you try to build up your mindfulness based on in breath and out breath. So next, let's take a look. Okay, you can begin to practice by, concentrate, by concentrating on the in-breath and out-breath, which is touching the nostril on or upper lips. So that is the meaning. Uh, yes, uh, that is the diagram we are using. Uh, uh, we are breathing all the time. Okay. Once the breath go in to our, our, our uh, 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 once we try to breathe in, we will feel the sensation of rubbing between the air with our skin, which is about the nostril and also all the upper lips. Well, it could be a touching point. Okay. Uh, 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 the sense, uh, I mean, the area of sensation between the rubbing of the air and also our skin, we call it as touching point. Huh? Please try to find it out. Okay, whether your touching point is a point or a big area. Now, okay, if you get it, please put up your hand. Okay, Liping, Using, Pyong Hao, three people. Okay, Eugene, okay, SJ, okay, got it, okay. So shall I know, uh, is there anyone notice that the touching point is the dot? Can you please put up your hand? It is a dot, small dot. Okay, if it's a big area, please put up your hand. Big area, a big area, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, like being you don't put up your hand, What's wrong with you? You put up a hand. Uh, Lighting? Uh, I, I didn't see you properly. Huh? I make sure, okay. Because you have, I mean, this step, you have to be correct. Uh, if you're wrong, I mean, in the consecutive step, this, uh, I mean, you will be wrong in the ne all next step. Okay, once you get the touching point, according here, you see, uh, okay, one should concentrate on the breath. The breath which is touching at the clearest point at the nostril or, or the upper lips. Okay. Uh, touching is concerned with another meditation method, which is the, okay, you don't know the name, huh? so we call it as um, uh, touching is a big one. Okay, please write down four elements.
this is an important step. Once you try to observe your in-breath and out-breath, sometimes you will feel the sensation of the cold, hot, or maybe you feel the gauze, the feeling of gauze or softer here. If let's say you go to, you, you go to observe all this type of sensation, meaning to say then you observe the wrong thing already. If you go to observe the, the sensation of hot or cold, we call it as four elements meditation. And this is not Anapana Sati. So the real one is you just observe the breath, okay, rubbing the skin in and out that will be enough. Please ignore the, any, any sensation, any feeling, uh, whether it is a coarse or whether it is a subtle, please just ignore all this. Uh, by just knowing the, uh, the breath in and out, that will be enough and correct. This is the reason why, according to this sentence, they say, therefore, one should meditate only on the breath, which is touching and not on the touching. On the breath, which is touching and not on the touching. Class, can you understand the meaning? <laughs> what, what are you laughing at? <laughs> it just looks like a philosophy. Huh? Very hard to understand. <laughs> Very hard to understand. Okay. Well, I don't know. Actually, the material I get from somewhere. Lah, huh? I, I don't know whether the English is, is so, how to say, uh, uh, it looks so similar and so close, and yet it's a different. I, I don't know whether in the touching on the touching, you can understand or not. But basically, but basically, uh, the simple thing is, you have to understand that. Uh, I mean, now you have to know that. <laughs> you just pay attention that when the breath in and out, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, you please observe uh, the sensation between the rubbing, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the rubbing of the air uh, on the skin, that will be correct already. Uh, so ignore the in the touching or on the touching, uh, please ignore it. Lah, huh? Okay. <laughs> Are you purely English act people, Tiong Hao? Are you English? Yeah, yeah, I'm purely English act. Yeah. Purely English act. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next, according here, uh, the meaning is a different. Meditating on the touching point is another kamatana, or on the touching point. Or, meaning to say that on the touching point is one, uh, once um, uh, everybody got a touching point here, meditating, meditation on the touching point, meaning to say that you go to discern the sensation on the point. Okay. The feeling on the point, on the point could be cold, could be hot, okay, could be subtle, could be coarse. You see, I get it. I think I think it is correct already. On the point, it is wrong. So which one is the correct? Uh, let's take a look. The correct one uh, should be, uh, let's see, uh, um, uh, meditating on the breath, which is which is touching is the anapanasati. Uh, so meaning to say that you should meditate on the breath. Medi meditate on the breath, meaning to say that there is the air wrapping our skin. That is the feeling you are going to observe. See or not? Mm. We are we are not focused on the point, but we just see. Uh, I mean, we just observe. Uh, I mean, the breath in and out. That's all. Next, let's take a look. Okay, huh? okay. Therefore, it needs a strong sati. Sati means the mindfulness. Okay, huh? Therefore, one should try to concentrate on the in-breath and out-breath in this manner. Okay. So, class, please try to observe the breath now. Okay. Huh? So, please adjust your posture and relax a little bit. Then you can pay your attention on your in-breath and out-breath.
Open your eye gently and move your body from front to back, then from left to right. You can start to shake, uh, to massage your hand and rub it. Use your eyelid to rub your eyes. Oh, no, use your thumb to, to rub your eyelids. Then wash your face, wash your head, your ear, your cerebrum, your neck, your shoulder, and, and then rub at the same time and shake and, and massage your abdomen clockwise and anticlockwise. Okay, uh, uh, such your abdomen clockwise and clockwise, and then from abdomen, can move your hand uh, to the vertebra and the back and just massage. Then from the back go to the thigh, to the calf, to the foot. You have already meditated for three minutes. Is there anyone satisfied with your own performance? Put up your hand. You satisfy, okay? Using Eugene, okay. So how about four of you? Half, half, right? Mm. Sometimes can concentrate. Sometimes you cannot concentrate that well. Okay. If let's say you are half, half, okay. So you have to move to the next step. But for Eugene and using, since you can meditate well without counting, so you just keep on observe the breath, that's all, okay? Oh. Now we'll go to the second step for the rest of the four people, which is counting. Oh. Tell how can you please write it up? The meditator should, on your mind, please. Oh, sorry. The meditator should count after the end of each breath like this. In breath, out breath, one. In breath, out breath, two. In breath, out breath, three. In breath, until in breath, out breath, eight. You should count up to at least five and not exceeding 10. You are encouraged to count up to eight as a respect to the noble eight fold path which you are trying to develop. You should determine that you will not let your mind drift or wander at each set of eight. You should only be aware of the breath. Due to this continuous concentration on the breath during each set of eight, the mind will, will become calmer. It is better to concentrate on the breath for at least half an hour or after the mind is calm in order to make it stable. Okay, thank you so much. So meaning to say that the rest of four of you, you have to proceed. I mean, you have to downgrade uh, to the counting breath. Okay, basically, without counting, we call it as a long and short breath because you just observe the breath without counting. Uh, meaning to say that you will sometimes you notice that the breath takes longer times to feel, uh, to go through to passing by the touching point. Sometimes it will take long shorter time to pass through it. But if let's say you cannot concentrate well, you have to downgrade to counting. Meaning to say that you just pay attention at a touching point, then in breath, out breath, count one, in breath, out breath, count two, and please count until 10. So until 10, you have to recount again from one to 10. If you count, if, if, if you forgetful during the counting, or if you lost, you have to recount. The number will remind you that you are wondering, okay. So please now you can start, four of you can start the counting and use and using and Eugene, just keep on observe the breath only. Huh? Next, another three more minutes session, you can start now.
Yes, time's up. You can shake your body from front to the back and from left to right. And then you can start to do the massage already. See whether you can remember or not. Please. another three more minutes okay so anyone uh, satisfy your own performance please put up your hand okay eugene still using still good okay how about yong hao uh, can you please try to compare counting and the long and short breath which uh, do you feel counting is better than you siu kyung siu kyung is counting better than you is better for you on the mic please yes Without counting is better. Without counting is better. Okay, huh? Counting, you think a lot of things, I mean. <laughs> okay, I get it. So you need to say that you are you are more confusing yeah, yeah, than yeah. counting, yeah. huh? Ah, because uh, uh, your mind is start wondering, then you have to count. And once you count, you the mind wonder again. Or you keep, keep oh, yeah, more confusing, yeah. even worse, uh, right? Okay, huh? Okay, if that's the case, please you don't count. Okay, huh? Then how about Tiong Hao? Yes. Is counting better for you? Uh, counting is better. I can concentrate well. Oh, okay. If you compare previously without yeah. counting, like, huh? okay. Yeah. How, how about SJ? Counting is still better. You prefer counting, like, huh? Okay, how about Lai Ping? Okay for me. <laughs> you mean both are okay for you? Am I right? Both are okay. If both are okay, you please choose one. Or maybe you just count first. Okay. Well, basically, uh, uh, half an hour is the how to say huh? half or, half half an hour is our KPI. It's your KPI. Huh? Uh, once the counting, you can reach half an hour good quality. You may proceed to without counting. Okay. Huh? As for using and using, since without counting is good for you, please proceed. Okay. Using Sha, I know it. Uh, you mentioned that you meditate every day. About how long you meditate for each session? Using uh, on the mic, please. Uh, uh, on the mic for you, yes, please. Uh. Yeah, sometimes I can meditate. Uh, if I really meditate, I can meditate up to one hour, lah. But for this practice, I only meditate up, uh, around thirty minutes. It's quite good. Uh, I remember that you have some foundation. Yeah, actually, I meditated, uh, started to meditate since uh, uh, secondary school. Oh, okay, okay. But, so, uh, but, just, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. but you just stop it so, for other reason, uh, right? Yeah, I, I cannot get it like going every day. So I was trying to join this lesson so that I put in my mind to practice every day, morning, evening, morning, evening. So then I want to get into a habit of doing this. So by the end of the last nine lesson, I hope I can practice every day constantly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so that's the reason why I joined this class. Yeah, yeah. Because each 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 time when you met me, I will ask you, yeah. do you meditate or not? Uh, so that is the discipline start to build up. That's what you mean, now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to get into the habits of uh like get the engine going again. And then I uh if you can do it. Every day, I think for nine weeks, then you can carry into it and then the habit will come again, then you will do it every day. Okay, I 
got it already. That's good. Okay, huh? uh, just now, uh, I think somebody brought the hand for everyday meditation, right? For everyday meditating. Anyone, someone, just now? Yes. How long you meditate every day, basically? Huh? On your mind, please. Again, 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Okay, that's good. Okay, if that's the case, uh, um, would you like to join today, the group sitting 4.30 to 6 today? Uh, well, during the sitting, uh, you're going to learn some energy spinning. Then you can see how the spinning energy will help you. Basically, it's in the Sunday and the Friday. Friday is at the night, 8.30 to 10.30. So Sundays today, they will be 4.30 to, to 6, okay? The group sitting will be meditated together with other seniors, but learning some more additional skill. Anybody would like to join today? 4.30, learn some more skill, spinning chakra. Anyone? Anyone? No time, okay? Huh? Okay, uh, well, basically, if no time, uh, I don't force you, okay? Uh, you may consider next time, like, huh? Uh, in Friday, uh, because most of students are Mandarin speaking, if let's say you join a Friday class, I can send you the video clip if you cannot thoroughly understand. Basically, Sunday today, I think I aim for English at people. Uh, if uh, I mean the instruction will be teach in English. Uh, okay, you this today you you can. How about next Sunday? Are you able to join? Anyone can join in next Sunday, Eugene. Can I ask you something, Sifu? Uh, because like uh, like for myself, oh, yes. currently I'm a beginner, is it? so will it actually conflict if I join to your senior classes or something like that? Like? Because I want to get the basic basic right first, is it? I don't want to. Uh, uh it, it won't conflict. It won't conflict because during that lesson, we will teach you some uh, skill, additional skill, and the senior they know the skill, they will do by their own. Ah, I mean they will go other way. Uh, basically, the group, the, a few group people, one is the Qigong group people, okay? Uh, uh, then secondly is the one who already familiar the spinning chakra and also and also the yoga. Uh, uh, Sometimes we let them do by their own or they can join uh, the beginners, just follow the step in the very, with a, with a very, uh, I mean, we are more uh, slow, uh, ring, uh, I mean, I mean a, a small uh, random, uh, uh, because uh, for all beginners, all the spinning chakra have to, have to redo in the slow manner, huh? so it won't. It is okay, one. It it does. I I will prefer probably a few sessions for this for beginner first, and then maybe if I'm ready, then I'll join you, Sifu. Okay, okay, it's up to you. Uh, because uh, uh once once you join, uh, huh, you can immediately uh, feel the additional the complementary skill. How does it help you? So that is the purpose why I asked you to join. Huh? It will interrupt, okay? But anyway, since I mean, uh, the way I see using uh, and Su Kyung, you already have done many sessions, you can compare with the additional skill and without additional skill, how does it help you? That is the purpose, la. okay? Maybe I think I'll let you consider first, okay? How are you consider how uh, you can join either the Friday or uh, the Sunday, la, how? Mm, okay? So the Chinese class, yes, you think you've got a problem, right? Yes. Uh, on the mic for you. Yes. Uh, maybe can you send us the link to the to join? If we have time, we will join. Oh, no need. To, no no link. You just get in. That's all. Eh, to the Webex. Uh. Oh, this is the Webex also. The this same Webex. Ah, yeah. Okay. It's it possible you must go in on time. Okay. Because no, I have to... I have to put you in the in the group, you know. Then uh, what, uh, I have to plan for it because uh, sometimes about more than ten people, so I have to plan some practice the qigong. How how should they do? Uh, some is the very beginner uh, for the spinning chakra. Some already familiar. I have to plan for it. So uh, you have to let me know. Okay, if you really come in, uh, so I can plan for it. Don't last minute. Last minute, I don't know. Sometime I don't know how to plan. Okay, to make everybody okay, huh? Okay, so now we go to the next, uh, we continue our lesson now. Huh? So after finishing the skill, after the counting, okay, uh, uh, we will continue with the whole breath, Mandarish, Mita, and Vipassana huh? after some uh, theory, huh? after finishing the, uh, the theory. Huh?
now we are left with this one. We go to the three type of people. Okay, huh? a lighting. Can you please write it up? Huh? Okay, uh, first the superior sila. Okay, I think you can read it up. First, on the mic for you already. Uh. Yeah, all right. Hey, oh, hello, speaker. The three type of people. First, the superior sila with the power of a pure mind can protect the mind from committee offenses. offenses. And each set by itself is liberty. First is sila. Sila, the uh, Sanskrit word. Translated as set means kami muti. Generally, generally, when people hear the word set, they associate its rules with the written discipline that vary according to period, place, and circumstances. The most important things, however, is the actual substance, substance of the precepts. The function of the precepts is to stop evil and encourage the doing of good. The Buddha original intention was not to restrain, restrain people by rules and regulation alone. He encouraged the String of a purified mind. When the mind is restless and annoying, it engages in all kinds of evil, which leads to nothing but torment and regrets. And without regrets, one can have peace and happiness. Afflictions are like on covering the ground and keeping good grain from growing. The steps steeps with a pure mind are like cultivated willless land in which the of virtues can grow. How can the mind be purified? Through faith and taking refuge. Is one believes in the three pleasures and the four truths with a deep understanding and sincere vows. And it, if one truly has faith, one can have a pure mind. The way to Buddhahood, page 142 to 143. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, please stop it down the remarks in red color, please.
Tiong Hao, if please thumb up if you finish copy. Thank you so much. Uh, using a uh, using okay. Uh, you prefer Friday night or Sunday evening? I put you in the group. Okay, if you've got time to join, I really hope you can learn more special skills. Then you can see the progress in meditation. Uh, which type, Which one you prefer? You prefer since you can you you can speak Mandarin and English both. Friday night or or, or Sunday evening? Which one you prefer? Not compulsory for every time, not really. Uh, if possible, you just join in, then you get the skill, that's all. Using yes, when which is your preferred day? Okay, on the mic, please. Friday is what time? 8.30 to 10.30 night. Uh, I think Friday better. You prefer Friday. Okay, so I will put you in the uh, Friday night group. Like, uh, so possibly yeah, yeah, yeah. you come in, since you can understand Mandarin, uh, I mean, you just learn the thing in Mandarin, it doesn't matter. Like, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the rest, uh, once you have decided, you tell me, uh, okay, if you if you prefer English, please join the Sunday one. Okay, uh, just let me know. Uh, okay. okay. Yes, anything? Using anything? No, no, no. Okay. So class, uh, now we go, uh, we talk about the three type of the people, okay? Huh? So uh, once we talk about three type of people, we will relate something with the sila, okay? Sila in English, in the simple word, is a precept. It is originated from Sanskrit. About 600, uh, I mean uh, in AD 600, uh, uh, I mean uh, in AD about a 7th century, is between four to seven century, Chinese monk uh, start traveling uh, from, uh, I mean, uh, from China to India in order to get the Buddhism scripture through silk roads. Well, monk is not the only one. Uh, I think some uh, I think some businessmen they also involved with this activity. Huh? The silk road is so common and popular. Well, uh, it is very dangerous, but monks, they are willing, I mean, to, uh, to, to sacrifice in order just to get the Dharma from the Indian. No? It is origin originated in the Sanskrit. Let's take a look. How is the Sanskrit character? Huh? So this is the Sanskrit word. Okay. So this is the Sanskrit word. Uh, Tattoo symbol meaning family on huh? the Sanskrit words. Okay. It's something like a Hindi, right? Ancient word history, Sanskrit. Hmm. Uh, the Buddhism scripture all is all is written in Sanskrit. And the Chinese monk will will, brought, will bring back all. I mean the Sanskrit scripture, and they have to go through the translations so that's to make it popular. So that's that is the uh, why uh, I mean that's the meaning of we call it sila. Uh, it is originated as Sanskrit. 
So what is the meaning of the sila? Huh? Basically, when we talk about the precept, huh, people will get frightening. Huh? Why? Because uh, precept meaning to say that you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that. But in fact, that is not the truth. Precept is, uh, mostly is about uh, your good deeds, especially, uh, I mean, uh, you are willing to do something which is good, okay, and uh, without any, uh, I mean, uh, how to say, uh, without any restrictions, and everything is come out, I mean, uh, uh, by your uh, consciousness, okay, uh, by, your, uh, by, your, by your conscious. For example, during the COVID-19, okay, so uh, we noticed that uh, some people, they really are uh, out of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, out of kindness, uh, they go to distribute the food to the needies, all right. And then uh, some uh, frontliners, they really sacrifice their life just to protect, I mean, uh, uh, to serve in the hospital uh, and uh, keep the, I mean, uh, uh, to take care uh, with the patients of the COVID-19. Well, all this example, we can say it is, they do it out of the sila, out of the precept. So precept is not something binding you, huh? but it can be something you just do out of your kind heart. So we call it as a precept too. Huh? Uh, basically, once a people really have a, uh, I mean, uh, 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 sometimes we can define precept as, uh, I mean, uh, as the willingness, uh, how, how should I put it? Huh? Okay, precept, uh, 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 once you develop uh, the habitual that, uh, you try to uh, refrain from doing the bad deeds and trying to do the more good uh, to do the good this is also is the uh, uh, manifestation of the precept mm. uh, we, uh, 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 once we notice that uh, this is the bad okay, we try to avoid from it for example uh, some people they will try to manipulate uh, 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 during the COVID-19 they, they, they bought a lot of masks and then reserve it with a high price okay we, uh, maybe you have the opportunity to do so, but you avoid it. This is a precept also. Mm. Instead of instead you go uh, you go out for blood donation, you go to distribute the food. But uh, once you have opportunity to do the bad, but you avoid it, this is also the precept. So basically, precept is not something. I mean, the rules and regulation laid out for you to follow. Uh, sometimes it is out of the rules and regulation, and uh, I mean everything is come from your heart. But anyway, uh, sometimes the rule and regulation is, is necessary because it becomes a guideline for the people to follow. Uh, if without the guideline, people don't know what to do, what they are not supposed to do. So that's why the guideline sometimes is important. Uh, okay, uh, basically, if let's say, okay, you, uh, you, you have done a lot of good deeds uh, and uh, your mind, uh, I mean, uh, in your mouth, okay, your body and the mind always occupied with the good deed. Meaning to say that the bad is, uh, the bad, uh, I mean, uh, how to say, uh, uh, we can use the analogy uh, to, uh, I mean, uh, to describe the situation that if let's say a piece of the land, if you, if you plant all the crops and, and the wet, there's no opportunity for the wet uh, to grow up. It's just like if you, if your mind full of, uh, full with the favorable, uh, full of the favorable, uh, this, uh, then uh, the bad is there's no opportunity to come up. So this is the reason why uh, we have to always make sure that our mind occupied with the good this uh, in, in, in terms of body, uh, speech. Okay. Uh, let's try to go back uh, to our notes. Uh, okay, huh? Uh, see, when the mind is uh, restless and annoyed, it engages in all kinds of uh, evils, which leads to nothing but torment, regress. And without regress, one can have peace of mind. Uh, yes, uh, by, by, I mean, uh, by observing the precepts, the reason to observe the precepts is to avoid the regretful. Mm. For example, okay, let's say one day you go to jogging, okay? You notice that a dog, okay, uh, maybe a cat uh, or a dog, is, is drowning uh, in the water, okay? But since you are very busy, so you ignore it, okay? And you go back, okay? I mean, I know if in the night time, is there anyone will regret when you will think that uh, you seeing a dog uh, drowning in the water, but you don't, uh, but you, you didn't go to save it? Anybody will, uh, uh, I mean, uh, at night, is there anybody will feel regretful? Can you put up your hand? Yes, SJ, using. Yes, everybody, you see? So meaning to say that 
If there's opportunity to do good, you don't do, you will be regretful. That is the meaning of the precept. Uh, so, uh, so, so, uh, 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 in the simple way that by uh, understand the precept, you will avoid regretful. Since regretful, you will make you feel. Uh, I mean, uh, you don't feel peace with the regretful of the mind. Okay, and if let's say a person which prefer to, uh, if you prefer to do the meditation, but the mind full of regretful, how can you meditate well? You can't meditate well. So this is uh, this is the reason why we have to understand the precepts to avoid the regretful. Okay, next one belief in the three treasure and four noble truth with a deep understanding and a sincere vow. If one truly has faith, one has a pure mind. How can the mind be purified by believing three treasure and four noble truth? Uh, well, basically, if let's say you go through the theory, okay, what is uh, three treasure, four noble truth? I don't think uh, you will create. Uh, I mean, uh, the perception of. The, I mean, you you will create the willingness to follow the precept. Okay, uh, the person who are willing to follow the precept because they already have uh, some uh, target in their mind. Okay. Uh, we can use an analogy uh, uh, to, to let you understand uh, how, uh, I mean, uh, uh, how strong is your willingness? How will you decide uh, once uh, there is a challenge appeared to you? Uh, This is the first scenario. This is the second scenario. Say okay, we are all in the Maldai. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, if let's say all of us are in the Maldai, are you willing to spit or throw a rubbish in Maldai? If let's say we are in the Maldai, are you willing to do so? No, right? Mm. Because uh, the air is so clean, the water is so pure, we we can hardly do so. We feel so sorry uh, to pollute. I mean, uh, the environment which is so beautiful. Maybe even uh, you urine in the water. Uh, you will feel regretful. Huh? I remember that there's a rule and regulation that uh, if you go to do the diving, uh, in order to take good care with the, with the chorus, uh, with the chorus, you shouldn't you urinate during the diving. Okay? But if let's say you are in the polluted river here, ah, uh, this is the polluted river. Huh? Do you feel sorry just uh, by throwing the rubbish at that river? Do you feel okay? You're quite okay, right? <laughs> uh, even you do the spitting, or maybe you throw some rubbish because it's already so dirty. Am I right? Uh, you feel okay, never mind, because it's so dirty already and just a little bit doesn't matter. But if compared with Maldaya, uh, you are not willing to throw a pit, uh, uh, just even maybe a little bit of the rubbish. So, meaning to say that if let's say uh, during learning Buddhism, we try to build up the perception in your mind that one day, okay, uh, your mind can attain the clarity as the Maldaya. In order to attain uh, to the clarity like the Maldai, you will try to avoid, uh, you will take good care of your heart so that it won't, it won't pollute your perception. You get what I mean? Mm. But if let's say uh, you always in your perception, you think, okay, my, my heart is so dirty, it's just like a, a polluted river. So you don't care, even though uh, whatever you, I mean, uh, whatever uh, evil uh, occurs in your mind, I think you won't bother uh, because uh, you think that your mind is already so dirty uh, it doesn't matter just uh, some evil thoughts or evil action it doesn't matter but if let's say your perception you have a perception that okay you wish to attain as as as, as pure as the maldai you wouldn't uh, once you do uh, maybe just a single uh, maybe even though there's a single evil thought arise in your mind you will be grateful see you know what i mean so meaning to say that um, uh, during the study we try to build up the perception that 
And one day you can attain the purity like a melted in your mind. And then, uh, and then what? Try your, your best to avoid all the evil to arise. So next we go to the uh, this. Okay. Faith is therefore described as the mind having the purity as its nature. Huh? Just like the water purifying pierced and can purify muddy water. From this pure uh, belief arises the power of stopping evil and doing good will arise. Yes, that is the belief. Okay, huh? uh, Once uh, you have a uh, building the perception, your mind can attain the clarity like a mouth dive. You will try to stop doing the evil but trying to do more good uh, just to get, I mean, uh, that. Uh, that uh, that piece of mind, that situation to appear in your mind. Yes, life what's wrong with you? Why keep on shaking, shaking your, I mean your screen? I also get dizzy already. <laughs> ah, just, just don't try to move a lot. Okay, I'll be stable there. <laughs> okay, next we'll go to the practicing the precept in top grade. Okay, uh, please, uh, Tiong Hao, can you please spread it out? Uh, a person who has never committed five action of immediate result before becoming a Buddhist, he takes refuge. Five precepts, Tramanera, Bhikkhu, and all Bhikkhuni precepts after meeting and Akharya, and still keeps the precept intact after the ceremony. He can easily attain Samantha and Vipassana as if a clean cloth vulnerable to stain. Okay, thank you so much. We stop here uh, due to time constraint. Okay. Well, basically, uh, practice the precept. We, we, there is a top grade, median grade, and the low grade. Okay. Uh, uh, why uh, why there's some people are considered as a top grade? Okay. If let's say a person, okay, uh, before uh, I've been taking the refuge, okay. Um, or maybe before ordinate uh, as a bhikkhu, as a bhikkhuni, as a sramanera, okay, uh, he has never committed any crimes before. If it happens to you, you are considered like a piece of the court, which is very clean and easy. I mean, uh, uh, we can do any, what should I put it? Uh, we can do any dying on you. Let's see first. Yeah, it's a, uh, as if a clean cloth vulnerable to stain, uh, meaning to say the cloth is so clean because you never commit any crime before. And for this type of person, they will they can attain Samatha Vipassana easily. Uh. So this is the top grade. Okay, uh, Let's try uh, to uh, check uh, I mean the terminology here. Uh. First is the five action of the immediate result. Okay. Uh. This is the meaning of the five action of the criminal result. Huh? Antara, uh, in Pali, we call it Antara. antara Okay, class, uh, this is the five one intentionally murdering one father, intentionally murdering one mother, killing Arahan, shedding the blood of a Buddha, and creating a schism within the Sangha. Okay, so this we call it uh, five, uh, five action with the immediate result, meaning to say that if you commit five, one of them uh, within this life. You will be reborn. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, for this life, uh, you will be reborn in the hell. Okay, so this we call it effort uh, as a, a, a immediate action. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, why there is a five immediate result? I mean, for this type of action, is due to a person, uh, namely uh, Devadatta. Huh? Devadatta is the cousin of the Shakyamuni Buddha. Okay, but he jealous over. He jealous over the status of the Shakyamuni, and he hoped that one day he can he can he can get the status uh, from the Shakyamuni. 
in order to get the status as the Shakyamuni, he tried to split, I mean, I create the schism within the Sangha, Sangha community group thousand years ago. Besides, okay, uh, 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 I mean, before I start to create a schism uh, within the group, he tried, uh, I mean, uh, to, to shed the blood of the Shakyamuni Buddha by throwing a big stone from the mountain, okay? In the beginning, he tried to kill the Buddha, but he, he can't kill the Buddha. And the big stone uh, uh, split become a small stone, and the small stone shed the blood of the Shakyamuni Buddha out. So this is, the, uh, this is uh, I mean, uh, he is the one also to create the bleeding for the blood, okay? But for nowadays, for this five immediate action, basically killing father and killing mother, there's a possibility, I mean, uh, uh, among, uh, out, out of five, killing father and killing mother, is, there's a possibility to occur nowadays. But basically, it involves some drug abuse. Uh, the person like you and I, uh, with the very clarity of mind, uh, we wouldn't do this type of thing. But for the drug addict, uh, usually uh, after taking some drug, they, do, uh, they will lose their mind and they will become manic. And there's a possibility for them to kill father and mother. Once you talk about killing Arahan, we don't know where it, where, where, uh, where, where are the Arahans for you to kill. And when you talk about shedding the blood of the Buddha, I don't know where is the Buddha for you to, to make him bleeding. <laughs> Am I right, using? Where can you find the Buddha to shed? No, okay. And uh, cause, if, uh, I mean, uh, but uh, causing the schism within the Buddha, uh, Buddhism uh, community, there is the possibility. So be careful, uh, when you join the Sangha community group, maybe you stay together with the group of the monk, please try to avoid create schism, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, within them. Okay. So class, you can try to copy down uh, these five immediate action. Okay, so this is the five. Um, please copy down in your notes, okay. Using still, still you learn Buddhism in Mandarin in your in your schooling time. Do you remember how do they call this five in Mandarin? Do you remember using? Okay, I on the mic for you. Yes, yes. Uh, sorry, sorry. Actually, I I learn most of the Buddhism uh, in English. Oh, okay, not in Mandarin. Okay, okay. Right, Mandarin. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, so this we, in, in Mandarin we call it Wu Ni Zui la ha. Ah, Wu Ni Zui ha. Okay, but basically, uh, people they used to, I mean, express in Bali la ha. So we call it at an anta ta uh uh ananta rika kama or ananta uh, ananta rika kama ha. In English, we call it as five actions of immediate result. Okay, this is the most heavy karma ha uh, within our Buddhism ha. And they say, a uh, five action of immediate result before becoming a Buddhist, take refuge, five precept. Okay, so taking refuge meaning to say that is uh, what we are, okay, uh, we, uh, what, what are we chanting in the beginning? Uh, so five precepts, we will learn it later on. Okay. 
And uh, if let's say, uh, what does it mean as a bhikkhu? Let's take a look. So, a stramanera. Huh? Stramanera and bhikkhu. This is the Stramanera, the definition of the Stramanera. Stramanera is the novice meal monastic in the Buddhist context. Uh, this is a Stramanera. If uh, it is a lady, it's a female, we call it Stramaneri. La. So you can copy down Stramanera, a novice meal monastic. Basically, if you wish to join, you want to experience the life. Uh, uh, if you uh, basically, if you wish to experience the monastic life, but your age haven't reached twenty one, you will be ordained as a stramanera. Uh, stramanera is like a probation period in the company. You can have a try in the first place. Uh, once uh, you you found that uh, the life is suitable for you, you can further proceed to the bhikkhu. Bhikkhu is like a confirmed staff in the company. You can enjoy all the privilege and the benefit in the company, but at the same time, you have to bear all the responsibility as a Sangha in the community. Uh, so that is the difference. Uh, uh. So what does it mean uh, as a Bhikkhu? Bhikkhu means it's the higher ordination. Let's take a look. So this is the bhikkhu. Huh? Bhikkhu is an ordained male monastic in Buddhism. Uh, so simple. If let's say that is the female, we call it as the bhikkhuni. Uh, please copy down uh, the definition. Using, have you ever ordained as a bhikkhu before? Using, have you tried it before? No, no, no. No, okay. If you learn the Buddhism in English, meaning to say that you go to Mahavihara most of the time. Yeah. Mahavihara. Oh, Mahavihara. Huh? Mm, okay. Uh, why don't you try to experience the monastic life, huh? Do you think? <laughs> uh, uh, why don't you try, huh? Never give you the thought. Uh. <laughs> maybe, maybe also time uh, because they need uh, like two weeks or, or, or more normally if you want to practice the uh, novice. Uh, and yeah. you, yeah, if you are working now, it's not easy to, to find the time to, to do it. Can, yeah. Uh, but it might be the annual leave for, or once you spend all the annual leave <laughs> for the monastic life, then you no more annual leave for holiday or, or traveling to do other stuff already. Uh. But anyway, <laughs> You, you can have a try uh, later on, uh, maybe in your retirement life, uh, maybe in your mm. retirement life. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's we call it as uh, the bhikkhu. Uh. Uh, so that's the bhikkhuni precept. After meeting an acharya, acharya meaning to say is the teacher. Uh, acharya is in the palitum. Uh. Acharya meaning to say is the teacher. Okay, so that is the meaning of uh, practicing the precept in the top grades. Meaning to say that, okay, uh, you never commit any crimes uh, before taking refuge. I mean, uh, before, I mean, you join any other forms uh, of the monastic life and you never commit before. If you, are, if, you are, if you are in this situation, you are like a clean cloth and you can easily attain samatha and vipassana within this life. Okay, huh? so that is the class for today. Okay, so before transfer the merit, uh, I, uh, I hope you can do some uh, recapitulation. Okay, huh? so uh, please, okay, um, I, will, uh, I, will, uh, I have to say, I will categorize you for group by group. Huh? Okay.
Okay, so you, uh, you please WhatsApp to each other, okay, and then call them and recap uh, what do you learn today, okay. So, uh, Tiong Hao, please prop your hand. Uh, Tiong Hao with Siu Pyong, okay, we can recap it to each other. Lai Bing, Lai Bing, okay, please you recap with the Eugene. Eugene, please prop your hand, Eugene. Okay, uh, Eugene, uh, and then using, okay, uh, using you can recap with the uh, SJ. Okay, SJ. Huh? Okay, in order to find other, you can just in WhatsApp group, you put out the name, you say, uh, I am using. So, Sujin know that you are the one to recap. He will just uh, press the name, then can uh, WhatsApp, uh, uh, I mean, uh, use the voice call WhatsApp immediately. Then can do the recapitulations about 15 minutes, and maybe you can check it's up to you. Uh, so, we finish the whole lesson for today. Okay. So, please, uh, palms together, we transfer the merit. Okay, uh, please on the mic. Huh? I wish to inculcate. I wish okay. more favorable consciousness. More, more favorable consciousness. consciousness. Transferring merits. To transferring merit. My past life, enemies, and relatives. My past My life, past enemies, and relatives. Hoping that. Hoping that. Hoping that. To be free from suffering and be liberated. To be free from be suffering, free from suffering and, and be liberated. And be liberated. Bana. Attend the mana. Attend the mana. At the same time, helping others to do the same. And same time, and at the same time, others helping others, others to do the same. So Eugene, please lead them uh, to pay respect. Um. <laughs> you know what to say, oh? Okay, you, you can say, oh, uh, thank you, Master, for the teaching. Uh, then, uh, uh, then uh, three respect. Okay. Thank you, Master, for the teaching. Okay, okay. Uh, well, we will put one in the top of the head. Second is at the truth chakra. The third is in the heart chakra. Okay. Then we say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Okay. okay, again, Eugene, please. Okay. Sadhu. Thank you, Master, for the teaching. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Eugene. Okay, so again, uh, so you say, okay, uh, uh, thank you, Master, for the teaching. We pay three respect. Okay, please. Okay, thank you, Master, for the teaching. We pay three respects. Sadhu. 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 Okay, so bye bye. You please do the recap, uh, okay?